King News, my wonderful people. Fulani headsmen attract notice. This is our land, not Niger Republic. We will defend it. Ogoni Monarch releases notice to all Fulani headsmen. In case you are not aware, things have been going very tough and funny in the land of Ogun State. I mean, in discriminate killing of people by Fulani headsmen continue to trail. There is so much things going on that you begin to wonder and ask yourself if everything is going well. There is so much, you know, things going on and Nigerians, it is honestly unbelievable that these things are going on and uh, everyone is quiet and watching. Everyone is quiet and watching. Nobody's saying anything. Nobody's saying anything. You know, there is a perpetual fear that, that has engulfed the community in Wale, local government area of Ogo State, following the threat of fresh attack from suspected Fulani headsmen. The community are Oje, Odun, Ibokun, Asa, and Ogbo. The unknown headsmen last Saturday passed a notice of an attack on houses and trees in the affected community, thereby throwing the whole community into confusion. In the letter, which was written in English and Hausa language, the headsmen told leaders of the affected community to expect their wrath between December and January. The notice reads, attention, attention, and attention to all following communities, Asa, Agbo, Ibiko, Ijo, Aodon, and Enviro. You think you can send away our people from the land they brought in and bring in Nigerians? No way. We will not allow this. Communities, you think you can send away our people and you brought in Nigerians into our father's land. You kill our people and you kill their cows and take over all their properties. You think you can go scot-free. It's high time you come to you, we come to take our revenge. All the above mentioned communities leaders should prepare for because December and January, we are going to be taking back our father's property. It will be recalled that farm, farmers, headers, clash, claim lives in the affected communities in the past quarter of 2021 when Sunday Boho was present. Why many residents of the community fled their homes to neighboring Benin Republic to avoid being killed by the Fulani headsmen? They most of them were sent out. The crisis got to the peak after Yoruba nation agitator Sunday Boho visited Ego in Woye look north to evict some Fulani, he, Fulani headsmen. Fulani settlement in the Gar area was set on fire and some era youths after uh, uh, some youths were sent away when Sunday Boho visited. In reciprocal, many villages have been attacked by the suspected Fulani headsmen who residents and set houses on fire. It took the intervention of Governor Dakbo Abiodun and other northern govern and other northern governors to bring the situation under control. Yet they want to continue again and put this on again. Reacting to the letter of the planned attack and indigenous of the Ojo uh, Edo Pa. Afolabi said members of the communities have been living in fear since they got the notice of attack. He said we cannot sleep with our two eyes closed since the letter we received on Sunday. We cannot go to our farmlands and we can no longer even concentrate. We don't know what exactly they are, they are planning or what they want to do. My plan now is how to relocate my family because of this threat. All of us knows what happened last year when they struck. I want to call on both federal and state governments to come to our aid. They should deploy security operatives, especially police and soldiers, to our communities for adequate protection of lives and property. These Fulani headsmen are not joking. And I hope that the government will take it seriously because the Fulani headsmen are not joking. They are not joking. They are not. And I sincerely, truly hope that the government of Nigeria will take it seriously. Because lives are involved. The lives and property of Nigerians are seriously involved. And I really hope that they will take it seriously. 
because with all that is happening and going on now, if they don't take this seriously and they leave the people to chance, what will happen will be a sorry case. What will happen will be a sorry case. So everybody needs to, you know, really needs to be careful. These people, you think that, you think that they are sincere, that they are, no, 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 you know, and this is all fault of Buhari. And this is why Nigerians need to begin to begin to call things back to order and ensure that at the end of the day, we do not leave, you know, this nation in the hands of those who wants to take it away and put it in their own pocket and think that they can go scot-free. What has been going on have been part and parcel of, you know, a calculated attempt to take over land that belongs to other people. Nigerians, the time to arise is now. The time not to allow these things hold us back is now. Remember that every single one of us must continue to speak out against everything and anything that is against us moving forward and ensuring that we get to the desired destination. Listen, guys, these Fulani Earthmen are not joking. They are not joking. They are not. They are not joking. They are not joking. So please, let's ensure that we rise up Let's ensure that we put our families and everyone in safety because we need to change this government who are this, all the same people. This government, they are all the same people. They are all working. They are all working in the same synergy, doing whatever they are doing. And it is sad, very sad that such things are happening and nobody's particularly, you know, protecting the people. Nobody's particularly, you know, speaking for the people. It feels like the people, you know, are left on their own, you know, they feel like the people are just there and there is no way out. So what do we need to do? How do we sort out this issue? How do we sort out this issue? The time to arise and ensure that we get out of this is now. Okay? We must get out of this now. Remember that it's up to you and I to ensure that we do not allow, you know, people that belongs to us to be put down. Okay? Anymore. We must not allow it. Yes, we must not allow it. No, in any way, form or kind, we must not allow it. Yes, we must do everything humanly speaking possible and get Nigeria out of the current oppressive situation that is going on and save this nation right now. We must save this nation right now. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day from us. It's bye for now. Have a good day. God bless. Bye-bye.